What's up again viewers, Brian here at 3TR and welcome to another episode of The People's Questions, episode 26. And I would first off like to start off by congratulating the winner of last Friday's uh, contest and it was 90s was the best who won his first contest ever. Congratulations man. And he's already received his uh, place Xbox points and hopefully he's spending it well. And the answer to last Friday's contest was for which secret society inspires the Patriots and the answer really could have been one of two answers it could have been the Wiseman's Committee or the your other name the Philosophers now I'm aware that some people thought out there that it was the boss that inspired um, the Patriots directly but the question was what group of people not just one person and really it was the Philosophers or the Wiseman's Committee that taught the boss the morals that she would incorporate which then would go on to inspire the Patriots. So it's the Wiseman's Committee or the Philosophers. And on to that, I'm going to get to your contest, to your, uh, sorry, your questions. And I got a, about four of them and one really good one which I'll save for the end. But I'm going to start off with one involving spoilers of The Dark Knight Rises. So I'm about to post a spoiler thing right here in a few moments and these two questions involve the ending to The Dark Knight Rises so here we go. Timmy Primetime's first question what was to me was he wanted to know if Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character of John Blake would have his own solo movie of Batman or Robin or Nightwing. Uh, you're just letting you know Timmy Primetime you got nothing to worry about chances are they're not going to do another spin-off uh, movie. Um, because uh, the idea of a spin-off to a character in the Nolan uh, trilogy did come up with Anne Hathaway. She said that she wanted to do, she, she would be, she would like to do Catwoman again, do a spin-off to that, but only if Christopher Nolan directed it. And Christopher Nolan said that he would like to see Anne Hathaway do Catwoman, but only if he didn't direct it. So the chances that Warner Brother would want to do a spin-off to a Christopher Nolan film without Christopher Nolan is very unlikely. It would definitely stand out and it probably wouldn't work very well. So you got nothing to worry about. In terms of ending, I doubt he'll do Batman, maybe Nightwing, or maybe a cool version of Robin, which some people, if, if you have not seen the Arkham City Tim Drake Robin, definitely go check it out. I would definitely like to see a movie about him because that version is... By far the most badass version of Robin I've ever seen. I actually was going to cosplay him as the, this year's Comic Con, but maybe next year. So, got nothing to worry about. And your last question was, did Batman die at the end of the Dark Knight or did Alfred imagine him there? No, he is alive. As you clearly, as you clearly saw within the ending, uh, when Lucius Fox was talking to, to mechanics about the Batpod, it was stated that the autopilot was fixed. And, you know, obviously if you saw the movie, you saw a shot of Batman kind of turning his head right before the explosion. Well, the truth being told that if he had dropped it into the water, that actually could have reduced the blast radius. So instead of it being six miles, it could have been maybe two or three miles. So that might have had been time for him to escape somehow. But yeah, he's 100% he's alive. I mean, Alfred didn't imagine there, so you're good. And I'm going to take the spoilers off. And now the next question actually comes from a good subscriber of mine by the name of Tranquilico Man 91 and he wanted to know, am I excited for Epic Mickey 2? I'm actually, uh, yeah, I'm looking forward to Epic Mickey uh, 2 for sure. The only thing I'm a little concerned about was I'd like, the, I'd, I'd like a little bit more variety in gameplay. I mean, the way that it was done, the first one was okay, but it got stale after a couple of hours. Um, yeah, and I just didn't like the variety of enemies. It just it just didn't work for me. So hopefully when Epic Mickey does come out, hopefully there's a much larger variety in gameplay. Maybe have some extra characters. Maybe play as different versions of Mickey, maybe. But yeah, I'm actually very excited for that. And the last question is by far the most complicated one and actually the best one for this episode, I would say. And it's from a good subscriber of mine by the name of BlackRock316. And he, his question is rather long, so I'm not going to try writing it down here. But he wants to know, besides Superman and Batman, which superheroes from the Justice League have the potential to be a blockbuster hit in which superheroes 
is going to be, and which superhero movie is going to be harder to make a movie for. Okay. Uh, outside of Batman and Superman, I absolutely 100% have always wanted to see a Wonder Woman movie. That is probably the one superhero advantage that I don't think Marvel could do. They really don't have a singular, strong, female superhero. Bla I mean, Black Widow from, uh, uh, um, you know, the Avengers wouldn't last for wouldn't last 10 seconds against uh, Diana. Um, yeah, I think, I, I don't know why it's taken them so hard. I just don't think they have, they know how to make Wonder Woman seem like a strong female character without overdoing it. But I think Wonder Woman would definitely be a major hit. As for the other members of the Justice League, it really depends on which version of the Justice League you're talking about. If you're going with the originals, then it would be like it would be like Superman, Batman, Wonder Woman, the original Flash, which is not Wally. Um, uh, what was that other guy's name? I think it was Hawkman, not Hawk Girl, and Aquaman. I damn sure do not, if they do that Justice League, I damn sure and I damn sure do not want to see a and was did I say Green Lantern? Yeah, Green Lantern, the original uh, Howard Gordon is. Yeah, I damn sure don't want to see a. Another Green Lantern movie, the first one absolutely flopped, and from what I've heard, they've already canceled plans for the second one. Uh, Aquaman would simply not be interesting. It would all have to be done underwater, which would mean total nothing but CG everywhere, so I don't want to see that. Hawkeye, he really just isn't very interesting. doesn't have an interesting backstory, at least to me he doesn't. And Flash, Flash would, Flash would be... I don't know. I mean, Flash on his own... In my opinion, doesn't seem to have very many interesting villains. He he he's definitely much more interesting when he's part of the Justice League than when he's not. So the only one that I could see being the hardest to make, and the only superhero movie I would like to see done before the Justice League movie, is a Wonder Woman movie. Now I will say this about the Justice League movie: I don't want them to do what Avengers did. I actually have written up a plot, I mean, or a kind of a, a map sheet of how they should do each individual uh, movie with the Justice League. I've actually done it, and it's completely different to how uh, Marvel did it. If they copy Marvel's technique, then I probably do not want to see this version of Justice League. But that's a topic for another video. And with that, uh, that's all the questions for this episode, and I'm going to get into this Friday's contest question. As many of you probably can see, I'm wearing a 300 shirt, which is one of my all-time favorite movies. And my question actually revolves to something about uh, 300. So here we go. The contest question for this Friday is, in its native tongue, what does the name Ephiates mean? Quite simply that. What does the name Ephiates mean? I hope I'm saying that right. If you know the answer, please comment it down below in the comments or send it to my personal PlayStation Network ID, which you will see at the end of the video. And you will have your choice of selecting between either a PlayStation Network card or an Xbox card. So, with that, I'm going to end the video there. Good luck to all of you out there and just keep sending your questions in. Every one of them helps. And like always, if you like this video, please like, comment down below, and subscribe to top keep track of me people's questions and my future videos and like always thank you for watching and I'll see you next time